Hello, this is Steve from uh, Chucker Flats, 36657 Snake River Road. Getting ready to sell the place, so I thought I'd give you a little tour of it. I own about one acre on the water and about four on the other side. A um, little spot down here they call... Um, Catfish Cove, nice little fishing spot. Got three traders on the property, five RV spots. This is called Fish Camp. I have a nice little trail. I use it for overflow. I have big parties at the uh, in the house. But that's a queen fold-out bed, fridge, got everything in it you need. Shower, nice queen bed in the back. Nice views. So that's that one. So there's like I said, five RV hookups. Great place to do your business in the morning. Another RV. Uh, this is the RV I stay in or for overflow on the river, in the river house. Nice little spot. Great for fishing right here. Nice view. Yeah. And it's been kind of remodeled too. Wood floors, nice kitchen, pull out bed, great shower in this one. Nice stand up shower, queen bed, TV. But it's pretty nice. Okay. This is just the beach in front of the property. Pretty sandy beach. I've had to clean it. Took me like 21 years. Then we have the third trailer here and RV hooked up. Um, oh. And this has kind of been my work trailer so I really don't want to take you in there but it's you know it's habitable but nice view here this used to be my mom's trailer there's a fire pit down there there's a hot tub underneath the master bedroom It's the main house. I was going to show you the, when I sell this place, everything's going with it. Um, there's another RV hookup. This 23 foot sweet water, been all recarpeted, reupholstered. Got a brand new 140 Suzuki four, four stroke. So it gets done around the lake pretty good. Okay. All these trees, those are, um, I can't remember the name of them, but they were starts from my mom's house. Same with these walnut trees. I have like five walnut trees. This is an apple tree. Back that way I also have cherries, peaches, and plums. Four wheelers will go with the place. Pat up since they're brand new, they run great. Got a John Deere tractor, it's got like 130 hours. Log splitter, have implements for the John Deere. 
This is a pump house, fish cleaning, extra fridge. Well, I'm at it. I'm going to show you the other side real quick. Four acres. This is just kind of a shortcut. Normally we would drive over there. But another thing, we get really good Wi Fi service right here. For years I'd see people parking up here. I wonder what the hell that they were coming here for the cell service. So I didn't realize that. But So it starts down there and then it goes up in a big V and the V goes up and then it comes down by my uh, driveway down there I'd always planned on putting a, a sporting clays checker style in here so the property goes along here goes up then it goes back down Here's just a picture of the place from the road. So, I don't know how to pause, so bear with me. I take the deer route. That beautiful day. Oh. So I rent this on VRBO and Airbnb. Does really good. Last year I made about 70 grand just with the house rental. And that goes down to the basement, to the downstairs. There's our dock. Let's go take a look inside. Most of these fishing poles are ones that I found when the water goes down. There's a nice Weber grill. I have five grills on the property. So this is the front door. So this is like a little, like the living room, but beautiful views, I mean, so TV, this fireplace heats the whole thing, there's Lucky, here's the kitchen, See these skylights up here? We spot deer and elk and sheep up there. It's kind of fun at breakfast, seeing who can spot something. Same with that one over there. So, this is the first bedroom. We used to call this the doggy room, but now and it's got a fold down bunk on it too. That's kind of cool. I could sleep three. <laughs> Tight bathroom. Pretty basic. Have good water pressure. And over here's this was my mom's room at one time. Viola, kind of a beach theme. She had a good mat or so. Back here is the master bedroom. Out here, you get views everywhere. There's a fire pit, hot tub down there, the dock. Got a sliding door too where you can go out on the deck. So that's upstairs part. I'll take you out here on the deck. 
oven barbecue. Water's up high now. We used to have upper deck catfish tournaments. We had to fish from up here, which is not hard to do when you look. See? So it's kind of like a V, this house. And there's stairs going down, but I'll take you down inside. Sometimes we'd have about 15 poles up here. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, I'll take you in. Then we go down in the hole. <laughs> the spiral case we put in. This used to be just unfinished garage door. My favorite poster from the 70s. So a little kitchenette, nice big deep sink, another fold out bed, TV. This is underneath the deck, underneath the deck. So you got a, like a pass through window, cocktails. And we got a washroom. Full-size freezer, another bathroom, walk-in shower, and this is like the bunk room. You can sleep six, seven here. Everything stays. Everything stays. Gun safe, all my fishing tackle. This is looking out the window. The bunker room, you can watch your poles from here. Good views. Maybe I'm going too fast, but. And then we come back out here. Go out the slider, more barbecues and cookers. So there's, you can come down from the deck or from the entrance there. And this is downstairs. Little bar area. Kind of a nice area in here, nice and cool in the Summertime, and get a nice breeze going through here. There's a hot tub over there. Say we have a full pool. Normally I'd have the pontoon boat parked right there. Walk down, jump on, take off. But the water doesn't go down. But we're always able to launch a boat here. This is going out on the deck. Of course we got lights out here for a little night catfishing. And we do have the neighbor here, but they use it like three times a year. And I, they got a real nice place in McCall, so they come up here water skiing. A lot of places fishing. The end of the house. And here we go. Here's the property. See over there, we go up in a V.
anyway it's got good rental potential if you want to work it there's somebody locally here that could manage it for you or you just keep it for yourself but I didn't rent any of the RV spots or other trailers separately which someone could do if, but it takes some work but yeah, you can make a good living here. Or just keep it to yourself like I did for a lot of years and just have fun. And my shoreline goes down. Oh, I to that telephone pole, but so there you have it. Thank you.